Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Hey everyone and welcome to my, oh, my eyelash just got so stuck I can't even open my eye. Okay, give me a sec. I'm back and my nightgown is trying to undo, but why do I even do this? But, but. But, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've never seen my face before, I am Misha Grimes and you should subscribe to see my face more often, if that's okay with you. Anyway, today's video is going to be a little look at how I style my hair. Now I've previously done a video on how I pin curl my hair and that was a very popular upload but that was more of like your really dressy hairdo that I typically do for pageants and I thought I'd just show you how I get my loose sort of beachy wavy curls and I also teamed up with Zala hair extensions to show you guys just how fabulous they are because I mean look at my hair right now like, it's like a puffy, little dead mess. And excuse my awful roots. Yes, I need to go to the hairdresser. Am I going um, for another few weeks? No. Probably still got a month. But, you know, it's fine. I'll just have black roots by then. It's fine. We'll pretend it's like balayage or something. Balayage? I don't even know the term. But anyway, back to Zala hair extensions. So... These beauties arrived at my door. They are an Australian company, but I know actually I do have quite a lot of Australian followers, but also for everyone in the US and the UK, honestly, these extensions are such good value for money that it almost doesn't play into effect the fact that they need to come from Australia because in this set, I have got so much hair so much hair. I've got nine pieces. This is obviously only one of them and I've got like nine. Nine! And that is 300 Australian dollars which works out at about 170 pounds which for nine hair extensions is a crazy good price. So that is why I'm really recommending them to you guys because although you may not live in Australia, trust me, it's worth it. So I am obviously gonna curl my hair as well but first of all let's just have a little look at what came in the package with the hair extensions. Cute little bag. Ew. First thing that I did actually, I was having a, a browse at the little, what do you call this, pamphlet thingy. So it comes with a little book and they like go through everything about the extensions and there's some before and after cookies and just, I need this going on. Yeah. This is going to be happening right now. So, also it came with a little lipstick. At least I think it's a lipstick. Matt about you. So I assume that's a lipstick. And it's in a pinky colour. How cute. Oh, 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 I'm dropping my goodies. Here we have a Review Me, Revive Me even, hair extension treatment. This bottle contains unbelievable shine, serious frizz control and a hint of glamour. Oh, perfect. So basically we can just spray it on after on our hair and it will make us look luscious and like J-Lo. And then also in here we have a cheeky, oh we have some spare clips because these are clipping extensions. And we have a little, like almost like a tangle teaser, but a mini one. Oh this will be good to take in my handbag with me when I go out. So like never. Anyway, let's start curling my hair so then we can start using the Zala hair extensions. Now, I am going to need hair protectant, which I would normally use, but I cannot find mine, but use hair protectant. Don't do what I'm about to do because I'm generally just gonna frazzle my hair, but I think I've run out and I really need to go get some more. So let's pretend I've sprayed hair protectant. And also, I thought I might as well mention this bad boy. I've obviously washed my hair and blow dried it, but to brush out the tangles, I use this Revlon Coconut Hair Treatment. Genuinely, this is so good. It gets rid of any tangles, and it just makes your life so much easier, and you don't end up losing half your hair. Now, one little hack that I use when I've got bad roots, so right now, is I take some dry shampoo. I'm just kind of blend that in just to kind of make it look oh and then I get it all over my skin but I feel like that kind of makes my roots not look 
so bad. Hopefully you agree. Oh, also, I hope you like my little nightgown right now. It's from Select. Um, you will have seen it in a haul. But, I mean, we're basically getting ready together, so I thought, you know, keep it casual. Now, to curl my hair, I'm going to take this Tresemme curler. I'm pretty sure this isn't sold anymore. I'll try and link something similar down below. But just whatever curling device you like. If we look at the extension, see this is just a single piece. So once it's all in place, this will go around the front of my hair. Can we just appreciate the colour? Talk about perfect colour match. Now I have the 24 inch pieces and as we can see they've just got the little clips at the back which is fabulous and there's just so much hair here like I'm so excited I hope we are ready for this transformation I've styled these with a sort of loose curl and I'm going to replicate that on my hair as well and also a side note these are in the shade Honey Blonde which I like my perfect shade and they have such an array of colours that you will literally match your hair colour perfectly. And then this is just a little look at one of the bigger pieces. Now this is what originally arrived, so they arrived straight and then I curled them. So let's compare, so if we look, one's kind of straight and one's kind of curly. Now, as you may notice, this Honey Blonde shade kind of has like strips in different colours, which is perfect for me because I get highlights. So my hair isn't one overall block colour, so these blend beautifully. I've got so much hair everywhere. We are eventually going to actually start curling my hair. I mean, she needs to stop getting distracted. But I'll show you a few. It's basically the same thing I do as when I pin curl. Grab a section, ravel it round. And I'm literally going to hold that for like no time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's now continue on and speed it up because you don't need to see me colour my hair for like 25 minutes. But I will actually time myself and see how long it takes because I'm pretty sure doing these loose waves does not take me very long at all. Let's get my phone so I can play some Spotify and have a little party. But sadly I can't play it to you guys or I'll get copyrighted. <laughs> so yeah, you guys can have different music but I'm gonna have some acoustic room from Spotify. The next 30 minutes are ad free, thanks to the following sponsor. I need to upgrade. Captain, I don't want, Captain, Captain, I'm watching Captain, an advert about Captain. Captain, 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 Captain. Dave, Captain, just Dave actually. Let's just let the advert play. So, exactly 10 minutes later, we are done curling, and I'm literally just going to like finger through my hair and just sort of pull out the shizness. Now we're going to grab some Moroccan oil, just to smooth out my ends. Oh, I'm spilling it. Rubby, rubby. Rubby, rubby, that's not English. But yeah, now... My hair looks okay like this, but we want some more vavoom. So I'm just gonna brush it through, and we're gonna start with the extensions. Now I really shouldn't have put hair oil on, because I now got all oh, slippy fingers. Um, but we are gonna grab the 100% Remy hair, which is incredibly good quality hair. Remy is one of the top, top hair extension qualities. And I mean, you can see that because it literally looks like hair. These are obviously also natural hair, they are real hair, so you can curl them, you can style them. Now, I know some people have problem with real hair extensions, but I mean, I don't really know. If they're not your cup of tea, then stick to the synthetic ones, but I do love real hair hair extensions because it means you can style them in so many different ways and typically they are a little bit better quality. So we have got two of these ones. Oh, we've got another straight one. I better curly this, but I might as well show you how I curly the extensions. So I'm literally just gonna hold it with my fingers and just treat it like normal hair and just wrap it around the wand. This is so much easier to show how to curl hair when you're not using it on your own head. I'm just gonna hold that for a bit and then we're just gonna let go. We're gonna pull up and there we go. So easy, breezy, beautiful. 
Now, these two individual pieces are for around the front. They're giving us little pieces so that they blend. So, yes, let's do that. So, in order to clip these in, I'm going to grab one of these bad boys and I'm just going to section off where I'm going to put it. Now, please excuse my roots. You have been warned. But there looks like the ideal place to pop in the extension. So I'm just going to unclip the clip. Oh, at least we know they're very good clips because Misha nearly broke a nail. But we're just going to literally clip it in. It's genuinely that simple. We just release. Oh. <laughs> and there we go. Now obviously this looks a bit random because I've just got one piece in, but as we build and we grow, not literally build, but as in we build up the hair, it will all blend in and look rather snazzy. So let's do the same to the other side. You genuinely don't need to be good at hair to be able to use these extensions. You just need to be able to press down on your head and clip them in. I think this is a good look personally. Yeah. Then we're gonna go like that. There we go. Okay, that already is making my hair look a lot fuller on the front. But let's move to the back pieces. So, the big whoppers are these ones. Which, I mean, I don't know if that's the correct term for a hair extension, that they're a big whopper. But these are big whoppers. And this is three clips along. Yes, so they give you multiple clips just to secure them in your head because obviously it's a wider piece. Now this can go further down your hair because it is wider so there is more hair to cover the extension hence why we use single ones around the front because they won't show as much. So let's grab all of those pieces. Oh I stand corrected. Those ones are the middle head pieces. These ones are the bottom. Just look at how much hair you get. And you get two of these. Like, that's insane. Again, we've got one straight and one curly, just to show you guys. And we are quite literally gonna just grab my clip, the bottom of my head. Now, please, please, again, excuse my roots. I'm just gonna spin around to try and show you guys. So we're gonna grab the extension. We should have really pre-unclipped this, Misha, because now you can't see anything. But this one has got five clips along. So that is going to be secure. We're going to grab it, we're going to flip it over, and we're just going to start clipping. Oh, also, the length of my extensions are the 24 inch, but they start as little as, I think it's 16. So yes, they start at 16 inch, and then they go up all the way to 30. Now 30 would obviously be a tad too long in my hair, but 24 is the correct length. Can we see that that is all clipped in? And we're gonna release. Can we see that my hair is building? It's getting longer and longer. It's probably out of shot by now, but I'm now just gonna add in the other ones and we shall continue. I'm just gonna catch up with you. So I'm now moving on to the side pieces, which are again smaller because there is an array of sizes. And I'm just gonna clip it into the side. So we have now got all of the fabulous hair in. I'm just like, I look like a lion and I love it. Like, yeah, yeah. Obviously this is quite lengthy, so if you didn't like so much length, you could go for the 20 inch. But I'm now going to smooth out my hair using the little spray that they sent. So let's grab this, let's give it a little... So I won't lie, I had to move back the camera in order just to show all this fabulousness. But that is the hair extensions in My Hair Curled. And I just feel so beachy and fabulous. I absolutely love these extensions. And I think they blend seamlessly with my hair. 
I just think it looks really cool and snazzy. I also think this would be an amazing gift. Obviously, we are coming around to Christmas, and if you know, like, boyfriends out there, if there's a boy watching this and they've got a girlfriend, they most probably would like some extensions. So, you know, stalk their Instagram, compare photos, see what colour hair they think, maybe check with the Zala team as well, just to make sure. You know, you don't want to order hair in it to be the wrong colour. But yes, I think these would make an amazing gift. I would most certainly love to receive these under the Christmas tree. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed learning all about Zala hair extensions with me and showing you guys how I actually do curl my hair for more of an everyday basis. Or by everyday, I mean when Misha can be bothered to get ready, put some makeup on and films. But yes, anyway, it's really quick, really easy. I, I'm just so blown away by these extensions. They are so inexpensive for the quality and the amount that you get. It doesn't feel that heavy, like you don't feel like you've got this massive weight on your shoulders. And I just think they look fabulous. Like, they just, they look fabulous. I can't. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to check the description box because everything mentioned, I mean, even the Batiste Dry Shampoo will be linked down below. And of course, all the details about Zala hair extensions as well. So I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And me and my hair shall see you guys all next time. Bye. I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. Hey.